And welcome back, VIP fam. This is your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. Welcome back to part two of Machine 2.1. This is the update, which is a free update for registered users of the machine uh, software as well as the hardware. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some more advanced routing of the MIDI as well as the audio. And I'm going to show you how you can get that set up. It's a lot easier now using the new group MIDI batch uh, feature. Uh, the DAW that I'm using by choice is Ableton Live 9 in this particular video. And I'm going to do everything from scratch. So you guys should be able to get this, you know, like that and be up and running. All right. So I'm holding my mic right now and that's something I shouldn't have did, but this particular piano loop, I don't need it. So let me go ahead and uh, reset that. Why? Because I want to use everything that's stock inside a machine to give you guys an idea. So what I did was I took the MIDI pattern uh, for that and I loaded on this massive plugin where there's a piano uh, instrument on here and I'll, and I'll just use that. Um, it's not going to sound the same. Uh, it's the instrument that I used for, uh, you know, my beat, but just for the sake of the tutorial, I want to ha have everything stock so you guys can follow along at home. Okay. So let's go back and here's the group MIDI match setup. Now you have sounds to MIDI channels and you have sounds to MIDI notes. Now, if you do sounds to MIDI notes, it's going to basically be what you see down here in the pattern range. It's going to be one big hodgepodge of your drum pattern. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but I know for a lot of producers who are, who are out there who work, uh, similar to me, I use sounds to MIDI channels because I don't know. I just, for me, I just need to have more control, like, more, like the more control, the better for me as a producer, I need to control all my drum sounds, kick snares, hi I need everything independent of each other. Okay. So that's why I'm doing it like this. So what you want to do, you're going to press the first sound here. Okay. And you're going to press shift on the last sound. And select your active icon here. Now this active icon, all this is, is on the mixer. Um, let me open up this window here. It's just basically you're activating your MIDI uh, inputs here. That's all it is. It's a, it's a MIDI input. So for example, if you're on your channel properties, you want to be on the sound tab under input under MIDI. Okay. Then from that point, you want to assign your MIDI channels. This is one. Okay. This one's going to be two. All right. And you're just going down from that point three. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So we got everything lined up like that. All right. And from that point, you're, you're pretty much good to go. All right. And just as a VIP tip, uh, you want to definitely be on the grid, uh, icon here when you're dragging and dropping, uh, your, your MIDI patterns, because if you're over here on the piano roll, uh, I believe it to do it uh, one by one, you might a hold shift on the first pad and select the last pad. And it might do it that way, but I haven't tried that. I mean, you guys can try that, you know, test that out. It might work. But in the meantime, just use the, uh, the grid icon here as I'm doing here. And going to go over here, grab my little MIDI icon like this, and I'm going to drag it into, uh, Ableton live like so. Okay. And everything gets tracked out like that. And from this point, you're not done yet. So you just want to jump over here, grab a blank scene. And from that point, you're just going to go over here. You're going to select machine one machine two. And let me just go ahead and get this set up for you guys, you know, and if anybody's out there saying, well, why not just speed up the video? Well, that's because there are some people out here who are new and, you know, I was out of the country for a little while. So when the update came out, I was like, man, you know, I wanted, I wanted to like get in here and like start doing the videos like right away. But you know, I was over in Japan and I couldn't get back in time, man. So I was like, man. I was like, my VIP fam is like, yo, Fontaine, what is you doing, son? This this update came out like a week ago. And I'm like, ah, I was away from my, my lab, man. I couldn't do nothing. All right. So now we got that set up and let's go back to machine right quick. Hey, 
and as you can see right there it's playing the pattern off this blank scene here and the MIDI is being triggered here inside Ableton Live so to me that is a dope major major workflow because for me I know in Ableton Live you know you got to sit in there I know before I had to uh, what is it I had to make an external instrument and get things set up that way under the uh, the ins and out tab uh, here so this is a lot faster man you know you can get in here and psh, drag and drop like literally so quick so you can imagine how that goes for the audio you know I don't even think you guys even need me to even do the audio because that would be well I guess I can do that let me let me create an audio audio track let's see where to put it all right there's an audio track right there right in front of my face okay let's go back we'll do an audio clip right here loop optimize is very important by the way and we'll drop it in there let's solo that I'm thinking since I made an audio track I think it's trying to get my mic so I don't want no input I'm turning the input off on there all right so let's go ahead and All right, so there you go with the uh, the audio. And I got one more example for you guys before I let you go. So then that way I know for sure that you guys will be fully confident understanding the new machine 2.1 uh, update. So here's the massive. I wanna get these uh, MIDI notes over there. So you go to channel properties. You wanna go to your input sound. Under MIDI, you wanna go to active and select your channel like so. And again, the active icon here, only thing that is, that's just basically activating your MIDI inputs and your mixer. So that's the same thing. I'm using channel eight. If someone's wondering why I'm using channel eight, because remember when I dragged and dropped the other uh, seven sounds, they were assigned like that MIDI channels one through seven. So we have to have a space for the massive plugin. So I'm gonna create a MIDI track and I'm gonna select machine and we're gonna use track eight or MIDI channel eight and go back to machine and just drag and drop it and we'll put machine like this so it doesn't get in the way there's a little uh MIDI pattern right there we'll drop it in line it up get it in there nice and neat go back to machine grab a blank scene and go ahead and trigger it All right, I'm going to hold it up right there. Be sure to come by the website www.vipsoundlab.com and pick up some banging drum kits off the website. And basically what I'm doing is I erased um, all the old, well, I didn't erase them, but I'm updating the drum kit imaging inside my library. And I'm going to put them on the website also. So in the NI resource folder for the, uh, the imaging, you know, we have our drum kit so you can add those drum kit images inside your machine uh, software. So I figured... We have a new 2.1 update so why not update the imaging so what I did was I wanted to put like this little attractive little um you know these like little speakers on the side of the imaging so I figured you know why not gonna update those two so it's pretty much it it's your boy Fontaine VIP soundlab.com be sure to come by the website I'll see you guys over there and I will see you guys on the next one peace